Hello kids! So ngayon naman sa video na ito, ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano mag-convert ng fraction to decimal number. At i-identify natin from the quotient yung sagot kung terminating or non-terminating decimals at repeating or non-repeating decimals. So muli, kasama ninyo si Teacher Bean. So bago natin simulan itong video na ito, kung di ka pa nakasubscribe sa aking channel, please click subscribe at click mo yung notification bell para mag updated ka sa mga latest video. At kung gusto magkaroon naman ng mga worksheets or activity guide, pwede kang mag-join sa aking FB page, Teacher Bean Search mo lang. Mathematics, yung fraction is a value which defines the part of a whole. In other wor words, yung fraction is a ratio of two numbers. Whereas, yung decimal is a number whose whole number is part and the fractional part is separated by a decimal point. Dito, meron tayong halimbawa ng ating decimal number. Ang decimal number, makaklasipay siya into terminating and non-terminating decimals and repeating and non-repeating decimals. Kapag nga nagsusolve tayo ng mathematical problems, yung conversion, yung decimal to the fractional value is prepared and we can easily simplify the fractional values. Dito, makikita nyo sa halimbawa, meron tayo 15 hundredths, 86 hundredths, 544,444 millions, 111,000, and 111 millions. is an example of decimal number. Dito, may tinatawag na terminating at non-terminating. Yung 15 hundredths and 86 hundredths ay halimbawa ng tinatawag nating terminating decimals. Kapag sinabing terminating, may n digit siya, which has a finite number of digits. So, may n digit siya, hindi siya yung uh, may mga kasunod pang number. So, ito yung tinatawag na terminating. At yung isa naman, non-terminating, kapag yung decimal are the one that must have an end term. Wala siyang end. Tuloy-tuloy. Infinite yung number of terms. Kutulad nitong nasa example natin sa right side. Ito. Yan. Yung naka, yan, yung naka blue na circle ay non-terminating. Ibig sabihin, tuloy-tuloy infinite yung numbers na kasunod. Makikita nyo. Yan. So, makaklasify din natin ang decimal number sa repeating and non-repeating decimals. Repeating and non-repeating decimals na under ng non-terminating decimals. Tulad dito, may example tayo na repeating decimals are the one which has set of terms in decimal to be repeated uniformly. Dito, that the repeated term in decimal is resented. Yan. Tulad nito, makikita nyo, may repeating tayo sa per... Yan, ito ang ating repeating decimals. Halimbawa, yan, makikita nyo, number niya, infinite at paulit-ulit na number 6 at number 12. Other example naman sa non-repeating, ito sa non-terminating. Dito, hindi pa ulit-ulit yung number. Yan, ito naman ang example natin ng non-repeating. Yung digits, hindi pa ulit-ulit. May repeated term siya, pero iba ba ang digit o number? Yan, makikita nyo. Unlike sa repeating decimals. Na makikita natin mamaya, pa nag-solve tayo, na example, identify natin kung repeating or non-repeating, terminating or non-terminating decimals. Of 3 eighths, 
fraction can be changed to decimal. Ang fraction pwede yung maging decimal. I-divide lang natin yung numerator by their denominator. Ganito lang yan. Yung ating numerator ang magiging dividend at ang ating divisor ang 8 ang magiging... Yan, yung 8 ang, na denominator ang ating divisor. Then, dito yung decimal place, yung point. Yan, after the 3, dito. Yan. Then, i-divide natin. 3 divided by 8 is equal to 0. 0 times 8 is equal to 0. Then, subtract. 3 minus 0 is equal to 3. Then, mag a tayo ng zeros after the decimal point. Para ma-check natin later on kung anong type of decimal. Then, bring down 0. 30 divided by 8 is equal to 3. 3 times 8 is equal to 24. Then, subtract. 0 minus 4 cannot be borrow from 3. Zero become ten, three become two. Ten minus four is equal to six. Two minus two equal to zero. Pwede hindi na isulat. Then add ulit tayo ng zero. Yan. Kada tayo. Sixty divided by eight is equal to seven. Then, 7 times 8 is equal to 56. Then, subtract. 60 minus 56 is equal to 4. Yan, 4 yan. Then, add ulit ng 0. Usually, ang minimum, nag a ng 3 zeros. Para ma-identify natin kung anong type of decimal. 40 divided by 8 is equal to 5. And then, 5 times 8 is equal to 40. Then, subtract. 40 minus 40 is equal to 0. Ayan. So, 0 na tayo. Wala na tayong remainder o matitira. Kaya, pwede hindi na tayo mag-add ng 0. So, ang minimum, 3 zeros. So, ang pag-a-add. So, ang ating naging sagot ay... thousands. Yan, 375,000 ang ating naging answer. So, anong type of decimal to? Nagkaroon ba ng paulit-ulit na number? Na infinite uh, terms? Number of terms? So, dito may n digit na tayo. Wala tayong naging remainder. Zero na ang lumabas. Kapag nag-add pa tayo, zero, zero na yon So, walang remainder. Kaya, ang tawag dito, anong type of decimal to? Ito ay... Terminating decimal. So, terminating decimal siya kasi may end digit. Walang naging remainder. At walang paulit-ulit na digit. Next example, we have 8 ninths. Again, change natin siya sa decimal number. Ang ating dividend ay number 8. Yung ating numerator at yung denominator na sa baba ang ating divisor. Ganyan. And then point here. Doon. Then add tayo ng zeros mamaya. Usually 3 zeros. ba 8 divided by 9 is equal to 0. 0 times 9 is equal to 0. Subtract. 8 minus 0 is equal to 8. Add 0. Bring down 0. 80 divided by 9 is equal to 8. 8 times 9 is equal to 72. Subtract. 80 minus 72 is equal to 8. Add again 0. Bring down 0. 80, 80 divided by 9 is equal to 8. 8 ulit. Sulat natin sa taas. So, 8 times 9 is equal to 72. Then, subtract ulit. 80 minus 72 is equal to 8. Then, add na 0 ulit. 3 zeros nga ang ating. Yan. Nalagay. Bring down 0. 
18 divided by 9 is equal to 8. 8 times 9 is equal to 72. Subtract. The answer is 8 again. So, pag nag-add ulit tayo ng 0 na, mula dun sa ating meaning, uh, ina-add the 3 zeros, ganun pa rin yung lalabas. So, pwede natin isulat siya dahil infinite nga at hindi uh, natatapos. Kahit nag a tayo ng 0, meron pa rin remainder at ang lumalabas pa rin ay 8. Pwede natin siyang isulat by adding 3 dots. Ibig sabihin nun, that 8 repeats indefinitely. Paulit-ulit yung number 8. Yun yung nilalagay natin. Or, pwede rin natin siyang ilagay o isulat ng pag ganito. Or, 0, yan, 8 tenths. Pero, meron siyang bar sa taas. A bar above a number is used to indicate that yung digit ay paulit-ulit. Yan, makikita nyo. Pwede 3 dots. After 3 numbers of 8, or sa taas ng 8 ay bar. So, ito ay anong number, uh, anong uri ng decimal? This is not, ang sagot natin, ito ay non-terminating decimal. At repeating decimals. Yan, paulit-ulit number 8. Ito ay repeating decimals. So, yan. And that's our lesson for today about converting fraction to decimal. At ano ba yung, at sana natutunan nyo at naintindihan kung ano ba yung terminating and not terminating decimals at yung repeating at non repeating. So, kung may tanong naman kayo sa video na ito or sa lesson na ito, pwede po tayo mag-type sa ating comment section at if nagustuhan nyo itong video na ito, please click the like button. So, maraming salamat. Till next time, with Teacher Bean.